Hello everyone, welcome to Future Proof Accountants and today we're going to talk about management reporting. Now we've got lots and lots of add-ons, lots and lots of management reporting tools that are available. Um, they talk to your accounting software, but the efficiency that an accounting practice or a bookkeeping practice or an advisor, whatever you want to call them, um, is where you can create good reports where um, you know you are able to create it once and reuse it so repurpose it basically so there's a couple of ways you can do that with zero itself so with zero generally what happens is depending on which jurisdiction you are in where which um, country or state you're in you should have access to something that's called zero h so zero hq allows you to create reports that you create once and then you can use them for across all your clients. For example, we created management report here. Um, I should be able to go to any of my client files. I can go to advisor and I can find that particular report and I can then use the same templates across all our clients. That's one way of creating good management reports. And we did go a bit um, I guess, but fancy. We did create some KPIs, some ratios. That was a lot of fun. So this is part of our webinar that we did recently. If for some reason you are in a location where zero practice is not available um, or you don't have access to it, you can also come under the normal reports and find the management reports, which is a pack of six reports that's already been created by zero. So you don't have to do a lot. But I always think that these there are things you can change and there are good things um, that you can add on to the existing management report. So if you are into creating say custom reports, which we'll touch on as well, um, you can choose a custom report right here. Say for example, I want to add top customers in my management report and I'll just quickly go in there and then add in there and it's nice looking graph. It's quite nice, right? I quite like it. I can add then my, say, top supplier so we know who are the important people for the business other than yourself of course and your staff so thing report already has ex executive summary already have cash summary um, already have profit and loss again you can edit layout here which i would highly recommend uh, because see how it does not have gross profit percentage you can add that in there you can add formula. There's lots of fun stuff you can do here. So for example, I've selected uh, gross profit form. I can come under rows and click on formula and I can move it up there. And let's create gross profit percentage. And then you kind of come here, divided by sales, the trading income. So you can create percentage of net profit. These are just rows. You can create column um, percentages as well. So you can go on um, all of July percentage compared to their trading income and things like that. Love percentages. And then there's balance sheet. Again, you can edit that. Um, then you've got your age receivable and payable. Now, the good thing I like here is that you can manage dates from here. For example, you are presenting management report of the month of July, say on 15th of August. So you want to have that date report here or today. Let's just say it's today that I'm doing it, right? The benefit of that is so many times you would have presented the report, but the client say, oh, but we've already paid this or we have, we've already received the money for this because that's for the previous month and then you kind of have to go into discussion on that, which is not really useful. Um, but if you can manage dates on different reports, it just makes life so much easier, right? Yeah, so you can add as many reports as you want. You can then, once you're happy with it, you can either click on custom, you can just go management reports, say I'll just use my initials there. So next time, 
whenever I have to generate the report, publish it and send it to the client, all I'm doing is I'm coming to the custom report. I'm, I'll pick this report up and change the date and issue the report. So go ahead, make your lives easier by creating some sensational custom management reports in your client file or in your um, Zero HQ reporting. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.